it's Esther at the Trucking Scribe. Today is day seven of the Defemarumba challenge that Louise Heinzel and Barbara with 49 Dragonflies is sponsoring this month. It's a the prompt for ephemera. So I actually wound up doing quite a few today. And I'm gonna break them up into three different videos. So this is one. Today's prompt is clock and wings. So this butterfly wings. Here's the second video. It's gonna be the angels and the clock. And then this one, I think it's my favorite, is three clocks and some angels. So I hope that you enjoyed the videos and let me know what you think about them. Thank you and have a great day. So today is prompt number seven, clocks and wings. It doesn't say clocks with wings or wings with clocks, but I have a few different ideas. I'm not sure yet um, what I'm going to do. I have out, I found this, which I had some more. I don't know what I did with them yesterday. Um, there they are. So I have these from some lace that I took the time and got straightened out. So those could be made into clocks. I have these little circles where we made the selfie in a bubble tags the other day. I said don't don't get rid of them because we might use them. So those are some different circles and here's one too. I don't know. That was just something that was in there. I have some flowers that could be clocks or wings. I had these beautiful butterfly die cut pockets that I think would fit just right in my journal. I have square die cuts. I have some little paper doily die cuts. And then from where I was cutting my scraps the other day from my cover, I have these. I was able to punch a hole in it and make up like a clock. Then I have these die cuts that are a butterfly. We might could use the wings, but I don't know about that either. I have these butterflies. Then I watched a video this morning and I'll have to get her name. She made, this lady made an angel from circles, which I thought that would be great. It's got wings, so you could have circles and wings. Yesterday, while I was thinking about it, I made, drew me out a little clock, and then I took some rhinestones or whatever these are here, and I used them for the all colors. And I used them to make my clock. So I thought we would get started with this cute angel right here first. So I think I'm going to do, let me see, I may do her wings. So she's cut in half. So you could cut a half circle or a whole circle and cut it. You can also fold it in half. So basically all you do is you fold your circle in a little shape like that. And then you bring this other side over and do the same thing. Now I don't have double sided cardstock here so I can do a few things. I can ink it up a little bit and make it look like that's the way it's supposed to be. I like that actually. 
and then if you were using this for say a ornament you can put a piece of string right here just glue it down and have an ornament which I hadn't done and I don't know that I want one in this one now see if I can remember how to use the glue stick I'm using this tape right here just to quickly because that was what was used in the video and I can't believe I can't remember the lady's name so she used a star for the face I don't know that I have a star since I like that color what I'm going to do well, maybe no I think the brown looks better so then I can just stick some glue right here. I'm going to turn her around with that bottom. We may need this. I think that's something. So I have an angel with some wings. Another way that you could probably do this is you could take and put some, do some wings like that. Let me see if this might work. So I'm going to stick it on here and then I'm going to trim it around. Now I need another color to go with that. I don't really want to see what I got here. I got green and pink so let me cut out a circle from the up. And I was able to do that one. So again, I'm just folding it. The first fold is pretty easy because it goes anywhere. The second one, you just start at that corner up there. So I just close it up like this. And then I'm going to stick it. I'm going to need some more glue right here. Do you know, I do want this going across there somewhere. Want some gold. I guess what I'm going to do is if I can get that on there. Now it looks going to be the same. So what's going on? I'm making two. I actually have another journal. 
This one's made out of the papers from Barbara. The first one is made out of papers from Louise. So these are really cute like this. Could do a clock point, maybe that, a little smaller. This is paste paper that was made a long time ago. I think these are the right color. Let me see. Maybe. I really do like both pages. I like the angels. Let's see if I go with the bigger ones. Who is this? Oh, come on, my finger. I got so much glue on my fingers. Wrong place. Go there. Yeah. So I may wind up breaking up. The two videos just to make them shorter because I have quite a few this this month and they are totally different so this one's more Christmassy no I did not ink this but yeah, I think I might just split these up and do two different ones because this just looks very nice. I'm going to get my big crocodile up here again. should have done this first. Does the black look good on gold? I guess let's find out. So it's so tiny, I might really have to hold it. It's going to be crooked. But... Hmm. I'm thinking, do I have anything to hold? What about a couple of these? So I got a phone call and I did get those in. What I'm using, if I can get this to cut, I don't know. Oh, I think I got some scissors over here. Being safe about it, which I don't know if I am or not. I've got my glasses on there, so. Yeah. I have decided that I am going to do these separately, I'm pretty sure. Okay. 
I wonder if I could more another circle or two on the back here to get that to hold a little better on the front. I might need to go on the front, I don't know. Now, how am I going to put this on here? I do you like this one with the lace on it? It looks different. Hmm. I'll put some back behind it. I'm going to produce this here again. I'm not sure how cheesecloth is supposed to work. This would look good on there. I'm liking that. Really like my clock. That look good right in there. Look at that. It does look pretty good, doesn't it? So this is just a little piece of gathered lace that I had left over from something. I'm going to stuff in here like a little. I want to do that with the others too. Let's see. All the little pieces of lace you can never get. So what I'm doing is opening this up again. I'm going to take this. Stick it in, try and ruffle it like a dress would be. Push it up a little bit more right there. Oh, I'm messing up what I had that looks so good. I like it just the way it was. I'm just trying to open this again. I got that tape up in there.
Let's see if I can get this and remove the start a bit in the end. Kind of poke it up in there. So this isn't gathered, this is just This is just flat lace, this one, this one. That one was a gathered piece. So I've went under there and gathered them. If I miss the glue, It will stick. I don't know why that's poking me out there. I'm going to try and get it on the card. I think I might make a few more of these because they're just very cute. Some of that. Not there, maybe. That turned out very nice. I do want to put some more jewels on it stuff though. Let me see. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So this one would be pretty too like that. I know you put it like that. Looks good. Circle's a little big for it though. I don't have any little halos to put on. Even stuck on my finger. That these are going to be too big. Right I do like that one right there for some reason. Trim it down just a little bit more. I 
that's going to go up there. Right I hope that you've enjoyed the video today. I'm not sure which one of the three I'm going to put. Well, I'm going to put this closing in all three, I think. That way you can see them all and, and know that there's other videos. I'm going to do one of this one with the clock, one of this one, and one of this one. And because it's just so long, I decided I'm going to cut them down. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you and have a great day.